other day I got to go in this wonderful truck. It was enormous. It's a Ram 1500, and it has more buttons than the Challenger Space Shuttle. It also comes equipped with this enormous screen in the middle that can also dual screen like a tablet. The dial to shift is circular, like the old climate control dials in cars. The screen above the steering wheel offers so much information, radio, whether you're in low or high gear, drive, probably tells you about how you're towing, comes with your typical buttons on the side, lights, powered windows, locks. This particular vehicle comes with a wireless charger and enough USB ports to charge many devices. The center console was one of my favorite features. There's different levels to it, and there's even a hidden USB right in the middle of it. It slides up and you can store and conceal whatever you want in there. There's a button in the front that allows you to move forward the entire console, and underneath, Ram thought it'd be cool if they made a train of trucks. I'm not quite sure what it's for, but it's there. The console here, you can see, is dual screen. You can do climate and change the control of the seats. You can look at the cameras, navigation, radio. One of my favorite features was you could see what gas prices were and how far away those gas stations were. The navigation was a little slow, in my opinion, and sort of outdated, but RAM allows you to control so many aspects of the towing features within this vehicle. Glove box is pretty small for the size of the vehicle. The Alpine system is amazing as far as audio in the vehicle. The moonroof is enormous, and you can retract back both the glass halfway and then that shield completely. Microphones accompany the front ceiling, as well as a microphone for the OnStar that's in the center of the vehicle. There's so many buttons on the top there that you'll be happy to push them quite readily. That way you can get airflow into the vehicle. There's a pass-through window in the second row, and there's even a button at the top to let down the gate. However, it doesn't bring it back up. I guess this is a neat feature, but it seems kind of strange. There's literally leather everywhere in this vehicle, even on the handles to get into the vehicle. Another one of my favorite features was the headrests. They're kind of on a ratchet system, so you can set them to any angle that you want, and then once you go far enough, it kind of resets. Cup holders have little nubs and spaces that kind of grip onto your cups. There's lights like most vehicles, and the hook was actually pretty nice to see. It looked really sturdy. The center console on the back is also large, but not very much storage is available. And again, there's cup holders with the little nubs. There is so much leg room in the back. I imagine that these seats actually recline. I did not try it, but the limited version of this vehicle, I saw that the seats came back. I just wasn't able to film it. There's more USB-C and A inputs in the back where you can charge things and pockets obviously behind the passenger and driver seat. Driving the vehicle is pretty nice. You can definitely tell you have a V8 as the vehicle has a lot of pickup to go. The back is about a six and a half foot long bed. It's covered in a nice typical like gritty truck bed coating and there's some little features to kind of grip as you climb up into the bed hooks everywhere, pass-throughs for cables or rope. The lights in the back of the cab light up when the rear gate is put down and you're accompanied by tons of chrome along the outside of this vehicle. It comes with places to hook up your trailer and the lights and obviously a hitch for your immense towing capacity. Overall, I like the vehicle. It's not 
personally my sort of vehicle, but if you got a lot to do, say on a farm or you're moving a lot or helping people or your job requires it, this truck would be wonderful. If you're driving around in the city, maybe consider getting something different.